Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. I am a Las Vegas YouTuber and today's video is inside the apartment of a Las Vegas YouTuber. Terrific guys. So I'm going to show you well my apartment over here located in downtown Las Vegas. All right, let's take a look. Now, before I show you the apartment, I just want to set your expectations. Now you may be thinking, YouTuber, whoa, he must be rolling in the dough. You know, must be a baller because I hear YouTubers make a lot of money. That is not the case, guys, or it's not always the case. The thing is, it depends on the size of your channel and how many views you get. I have a small channel, guys. I said small channel, guys, all right? So now that we know you ain't going to see much, let's begin the tour. All right, here we go. Okay, so this is the door that I come in from. Immediately to my right is a, a little closet area where you can hang some stuff. Got my shoes and etc. And on the top, I got some shelving with instant food. That's right, instant food. I don't plan on doing any cooking in this apartment. So here I have a little sink, some uh, little drawers and cupboards and things like that. Now this originally was a kitchenette, right? Featuring a couple of burners over here, which I had covered and I put my printer on top because I, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not doing any cooking in this apartment. You know, this roaches can't have roaches guys. All right. So moving along, we got over here a mini fridge of which I just got some basic beverages, right? And it is a Red Bull and Diet Coke. Uh, the Red Bull is sugar free. I have nothing but one piece of chocolate from Peter Luger. I still have not eaten guys chocolate coin. And here on top is my YouTube equipment charging station and organization area. Got my lighting, my sound, my camera, you know, some things like uh, to attach things to and things like that. And you know, some charging to charge all the stuff. Terrific. And on top here, we got some more cabinets. I put in like miscellaneous items and more snack foods. I don't really eat at home, so it's okay. And coming around over here, we have the computer station where I do some editing, uh, thumbnail creation, writing the descriptions and making the titles and things like that, you know? So I do a lot of work over here as, as well as uh, reply to comments and things like that. Okay. Over here, I have a small guitar hobby. So that's that air conditioner. Now the windows here is actually quite nice. It is actually a, a very high ceiling, maybe about nine feet tall. Very nice ceiling guys. Okay, so over here I have my laptop, a little thing that I use to uh, put the camera on sometimes. And now over here I got my wardrobe area. Okay, my usual wardrobe and the laundry basket down there. A little fan for air circulation. My main tripod over here. I really like this guys. It is tall enough and very lightweight. Now coming around over here, I have a twin size bed that is actually I got from Amazon and it's actually dirt cheap. You know, like hey, I, I, like I said, you know, I don't make a lot of money. You know, gotta live accordingly. And over here, we got the bathtub and shower. So this is the bathtub, guys. Now you may be thinking, hey, it's a nice bathtub. But this is actually a miniature bathtub, big enough for you to wash a pet. Yes, I, I myself do not fit in this when I try to sit down. 
All right, we got a shower head over here. All right, and now the most controversial thing, the toilet. All right, guys, I have gotten comments below. You know, when I was doing other videos and the toilet was in the shot like that, they were like, are you in your bathroom? You know, what's going on? You know, I'll tell you, this is a very small efficiency apartment. So the toilet is right here. You know, the best thing is, is that you can sit here. Ah, and you know, see everything. Right, that's the best thing about it. Now, the reverse is true. Anybody over here would be able to see you doing your business, right? So this type of apartment is not really for you to host parties or bring guests over, unless the guest is like, you know, your girlfriend or something like that, who don't, or, or someone who don't mind seeing you do this. But I will tell you, right? The people who are the geniuses who designed this apartment actually had a big curtain that goes over here as you can see right and the curtain you could just pull and you get some sort of privacy but i removed the curtain because i'm like it was just taking up space in an already small apartment and it was blocking the light because there's no light over here guys when the curtain was here, it, it, I, I, don't, I don't mean to sound crude, but you cannot see yourself wiping your butt, right? Because the curtain would be blocking the light coming from that way. So it's a big shadow over here when you're trying to wipe your butt, right? So it was either remove the curtain to get more light or install a light fixture. And there is no outlet for electricity in this section of the apartment so there we have it guys curtain be gone i don't need it i live alone all right so there you have it guys inside the apartment of a vegas youtuber i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe have a good one Hey guys, welcome to the bonus section. So there have been comments below of other videos, not this one, by saying, Danny the Medic, can you show me your New York City apartment? All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. So this New York City apartment is in Midtown Manhattan. It is a one bedroom, about 450 square feet. And, oh, say hi to Nelly. All right, so. The New York City apartment, right, uh, it is very small. Now, it got a, uh, about a three-quarter size kitchen, a very small bedroom, a bathroom with uh, small stuff. So yeah, let's take a look around, guys. So this is the door that we come in from, and over here is a laundry cart, of which I did not steal it, guys. I purchased it because the laundry facilities is downstairs, have to go in the elevator and all that. So after about 15 years of breaking my back, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna get one of these things and laundry has been great ever since. I'm not taking this to Vegas with me. All right, so on the left as you enter is the little kitchen area. Over here we got, as you can see, I clean all the grease off the stove. I gotta throw this away later, right? The microwave is over here. Let's make sure nothing's in the microwave. It's clean enough. I emptied out all that stuff, right? All that stuff is empty. It got a fridge. And the fridge, it got one package of uh, something. I don't know what it is. Right? I cleaned out the fridge. Oh my God, hot and sour soup. Oh, I would have lost my security deposit. Oh, heavens. Okay. Over here we got 
the sink. Uh, this is Nelly's bubble tea. Over here is the dishwasher. And over here is my couple of luggages, which I'm going to bring with me to Vegas. And this is a closet. Wow, that's dirty. I'm so sorry, guys. And this is the living room area. It got like a Nelly sitting there. And over here is the heating unit, which is extremely noisy. It's been pissing me off for decades. And now, as you notice, right, here's the view of uh, downtown Manhattan that's looking down. I'm not going to miss this view, guys, because, you know, I've been looking at it for decades. So one thing that uh, was not good for this apartment is that there's no screen in the windows. So all the flies and mosquitoes come on in. So if you're shopping for an apartment, make sure they have screens. Now over here is my what's left of my guitar collection. Only two guitars left, guys. Two guitars. Over here is a couple of bags. Now over here is the so-called bedroom. It is really small, guys. Like 10 by 12 or something like that. All right. Over here, some closets. So this apartment, right, because of the way it's laid out, you know, like they have closets here, so you cannot use the space in front of the closet, put a bookshelf or anything. You can't really do anything here because of things in the way. And over here, right, you can put a bed, but then you won't have any space to put anything else. So basically, this is literally a bedroom. You put a bed in here and that's, Oh, that's, oh my God, Nelly dropped something. You okay, Nelly? Yes, sir. What did you drop? My phone. <gasps> oh, well, relieved, but also, uh, is your phone okay? Mm. All right. Now over here's the bathroom where I have done my business many times. And uh, don't freak out. I was just wiping the stuff and that's just like some tissues after wiping. You know, just wiping, making sure everything's wiped, you know, so I get my security deposit back. All right. Now, it's not spick and span, but, you know, the paperwork didn't say it has to be spick and span. All right. And over here is a side closet, which uh, has some shelves. All right. So there you have it. So today, right now, as I'm recording this, is March 31st. I'm gonna catch a flight to Vegas, with, and uh, you know, and then I'll shoot the video that you would have seen in the front of this video. Mind-boggling, isn't it? Nelly's nice enough to drive me to the airport. That's terrific. All right, have a good one, guys. New Vegas video every Friday.